Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these three coffee makers. On the left, I've got the Cuisinart 12 cup. In the middle, I've got the Ninja 12 cup. And on the right, I got the Mr. Coffee 12 cup. So I'm going to talk a little bit about them and then I'm actually going to brew a pot of coffee and we're going to check temperatures and see how they taste. Okay, so let's take a look where they brew. So the Cuisinart does have a reusable filter. You can put a number four cone filter in there also, but it's either or. You can't use them both at the same time. Same with the Ninja. It's got a reusable filter, but you can use a number four cone filter if you don't want to use the reusable. The Mr. Coffee, I've got a paper filter in there. Uh, you can also use a basket style reusable filter in there also. Now around back, that's where you add the water. The Cuisinart's got steps. The Ninja's got the nice display on the front to show you how much water. The Mr. Coffee's got this little window on the side to let you know how much water you've added in the back. So I do like the Ninja, you're able to take the reservoir off, take it over to the sink and clean it out really well. It's got a nice handle so I can take it off if I want to. Now the Cuisinart, you are able to install a carbon water filter, that's the, that's the holder for it. There's the brew head for the Cuisinart, here's the brew head for the Ninja, and the Mr. Coffee, this swings out of the way. The Cuisinart's got a nice display for a clock, I can do a one to four cup setting, I rotate this. This is how I change the clock. I can set a program brew. I can um, change the time, how long the warming plate stays on. Here's the switch you use to operate it with. You just throw that up to start the brew. And I can also con control the craft temperature. I got low, medium, and high. It's got a self-cleaning function. I really like the clock on the Ninja. It's very nice. I can do a delay brew. I can turn the warming plate on and off with this switch. I can do a small batch, one to four cup, a classic brew and a rich brew. And then there's the brew button. It's got a cleaning function also, let you know when it's time to descale. Mr. Coffee's got a really nice big switch on the front that's lit. You're gonna press it when you wanna turn it on. Okay, so let's start them all. Okay, classic, you gotta turn it on, classic brew. And I'm just gonna flip this switch up. Let's start the stopwatch. We'll time them and do temperature checks along the way. Okay, so they all start brewing right away. They all sound about the same. The Ninja might be the quietest right now. Towards the end of the brew, they all kind of make a lot of steam and kind of pop a little bit. Let's take a sneak peek. Okay, so the Ninja is about 194 for the brew temperature at the top. Cuisinart, about 196. Mr. Coffee, about 185, 186. Okay, so three and a half minute mark. The Mr. Coffee might be a little bit ahead of everybody else. Okay, so the Ninja, I'm trying to get a little tricky. 192 coming out the bottom. Mr. Coffee, about 178 coming out the bottom. The Cuisinart's about 192 coming out the bottom. Okay, so let's grab another peak. Yeah, it's doing a good job with the coffee, yep. And the Mr. Coffee. Again, Cuisinart. Okay, so right about the six minute mark, they're all getting really close to being done. The Ninja might be just about done. Mr. Coffee's definitely the loudest. They've all got quite a bit of steam coming off the top. Just a little bit of coffee left to drip in from the filter basket. Yeah, I think the Ninja is pretty well done. Cuisinart. So yeah, they all finish relatively close. If I had to pick one, Ninja was first, then the Cuisinart and Mr. Coffee are right behind it. Okay, seven and a half minute mark. Cuisinart's definitely done. Ninja is done. Mr. Coffee's got a little bit left to go. Okay, so let's pour. Let's see how the Ninja pours. It's a very nice craft. It pours really nice. Let's see how hot a cup of coffee. And the Ninja is right about 171. Let's do the Cuisinart. Very nice craft also. 
pours real nice. Cuisinart, aren't are ending up with a, ooh, a little hotter, 178. Okay, let's do Mr. Coffee. Very nice craft also. They all three have warming plates that are gonna keep the, the glass crafts warm. Now the Cuisinart and the Ninja are beeping. The Mr. Coffee does not beep at you when it's done. All right, Mr. Coffee came in right at 165, 166. Okay, so let me check that Ninja temperature one more time. So here, now the Ninja is 175. Yeah, I thought the Ninja was a lot hotter. I think my first mug must have been cold. Uh, this one was, this mug was room temperature. And yeah, it's 170, yeah, so that's a really hot cup of coffee. So let's see, I made a really good strong cup of coffee. And here's what the Mr. Coffee looks like. So earlier I did taste them out of all three of these. I felt like the Ninja and the Cuisinart might have been a little smoother. The Mr. Coffee makes a really good cup of coffee too. But um, yeah, the Ninja one and the Cuisinart just tasted a little better. Okay, so when we're all done, you can turn the coffee maker off. Hit the power button down here and turn this switch off. Here's how cleanup. Cleanup is very simple on all of them. You're gonna take the filter basket, this whole filter basket over. Same with the Cuisinart, it's got a little handle. There's how it's coffee grounds did. And the Mr. Coffee, it's got a handle too. You can grab it and do that. So looking at these coffee grounds, yeah, it seemed like the Cuisinart might have brewed them a little more evener. Um, this one had water kind of floating in the top. The Ninja had water floating in the top and so did the Mr. Coffee. The Cuisinart never really had that big water floating at the top. It kind of just kept everything running through. Time-wise, again, they were all really close. Ninja one on it. Ninja one on the quietness. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.